Hello devs, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do WordPress site maintenance safely. Uh, if you dealt with it before, uh, you know that uh, WordPress sites needs to be maintained by keeping the uh, WordPress version up to date and the plugins and the themes, everything needs to be up to date for it to be maintained. But uh, once we uh, do it on a live site, there is always a chance that some new update, uh, maybe the WordPress version or some plugin somewhere uh, might end up, you know, crashing your uh, client site. And then uh, in that case, the client's not going to be very happy. So uh, in this video, we are going to do it in a different way. We're going to create a safe staging environment for this site using cPanel and Softaculous and then on that new version we're going to uh, we're going to update uh, the plugins and then uh, the themes and then the WordPress version and then sync it back to production once we test everything that uh, it's not breaking uh, our uh, site at all right so everything is fine and dandy and then once we sync it back in we're going to test everything if they're okay. So let's do it. Okay, so now we are back here in the cPanel of the same site. And before we move any farther, is one thing we need to test, which is how much space do we have on the server? And the quick way to do that is by going to terminal This is basically going into the back end of the server, pretty much uh, where you can go using this file manager. But from here, uh, you know, it is not possible to say how much space the whole server is using, how much we have left. Even from here, if we look at uh, disk usage, that means this site is taking 594 megabyte, but uh, still we don't know how much space we have empty. So to find that out, we can go here, the back end, and I can show you this, these are the exact same folders you can see right here. And we have to put a simple command df minus h. And here, this line is the one to look at, this forward slash. This is the root folder. As we can see here, total 199 gigabyte and 146 gigabyte is full and 44 gigabytes empty. And as we know from here, the site is only taking 594. So if we create a staging, we have plenty of space. So now we can safely go here. WordPress manager by Softaculous. We can go to the same place from also here, but let's choose this. When you get here the first time, you're not gonna see any site underneath this list so that we can manage. That means uh, this site here is not included uh, into that Softaculous uh, application so that we can manage it from here. So to do that, we go to import. And from here, we pick HTTPS and the site is already filled in because it's the only site there. And we're just importing it into the software. So nothing is going anywhere. It's just bringing it in, import. It's gonna be very quick. And now it is actually brought it in, it's actually telling us uh, the link and the admin and whatnot. So let's go back. And at this point, we can actually see the site is here for us to manage with Softaculous, right? So from here, we're going to, we have few options. We can do a staging, we can do a exact clone and then backup and then edit some details and delete the site. Now, be careful hitting this one because that's gonna remove the whole site. So in case you wanna remove from this list, you need to check here, then choose this, 
remove from softaculus, not this, because this one will remove the whole site, okay? So be careful there. And another thing, the difference between clone and uh, this create staging is that clone is just uh, exact copy, but it has no connection with production. But if you choose this one, this will actually let you, the copy you create will have a connection to the production so that uh, after you make some changes, you will be able to sync it back into production and make it live, right? So let's uh, go with that route. Let's try to create a staging here. All right. So now this uh, database, it's going to make up its own. So if you want to mess with it, you know, that's fine. But, you know, this is a temporary staging. We don't really care at this point. And we're going to make sure it says HTTPS still. And this is the, our site. And here we are going to create the subdirectory STG. And you can put it any, anything you like, but uh, put something that is easily recognizable. I'm just putting it STG because it is a staging site and no slash or anything necessary. You can just come here and they will tell you what to do clearly, right? Okay. And uh, you have to make sure that disabled search engine, engine visibility is checked here so that uh, you know Google doesn't end up uh, indexing this staging site. That's going to create a big mess. And we also need to make sure once we push, uh, after we make our changes and push it, everything back, we have to log back into production and make sure to uncheck this so that, uh, you know, our uh, SEO still stays intact. All right. So now let's go create staging. It's going to take some time, you know, depending on uh, the, the the actual size of the website, but uh, normally it's pretty quick. Even for a like a 500 megabyte site, it's pretty quick. And, uh, you know, three to 500 megabyte is pretty much an average uh, size of a site. So uh, for uh, sites that are over one gigabyte, I have done those, but uh, I would probably recommend a different strategy for those. Okay, so at this point, see how quickly a staging got created. And uh, to make sure, let's click here. And look, it's an exact copy, but it is under the STG. So this is, this could be our playground. Right. I mean, we can do all sorts of changes without harming production while you can go here and see the production site is still intact and untouched. Right. So we are pretty safe at this point. So what we do, we just uh, log in. And since, since this is exact copy, we know this uh, you know username password should be the same as production so we go in bam so at this point first thing we do is update the wordpress version all right update now actually this is for coming from the updraft it, it tries to back up everything, which is a good thing to have. But at this point, we want to just skip that to save some time. Boom. All right. So we have a latest version of WordPress. And every step of the way, we want to make sure the site is good. So let's go to the site. Just click around to make sure everything is okay. I mean, I'm using a, a rather, you know, simpler site here so that, uh, you know, we don't have to spend too much time. And because that's not the point of this whole exercise, we're just trying to learn here. So it looks like things are okay. So now we just go straight here. And we're going to select all from here, update. 
Boom. So quickly, we have all our plugins up to date. Now let's go back in there and check all, update the themes. Boom. So everything is up to date now, right? I mean, no updates necessary. And uh, this is the staking site. Everything up to date. Now, just to compare, we go back. And this is still the production, right? And we, re, you know, just refresh it. It is still waiting to be up to date and is still uh, behind, right? Okay, now let's go back and go back to overview, which is basically the home page. And normally you can just go to blogs and WordPress, you can come here. And as you can see, this is the staging one and one extra thing that showed up here is this guy. This is the button that will help us synchronize this to the production, right? So let's do this. And what we're going to do uh, right after we sync it and test everything, we're going to come back here and remove this one because this is a temporary thing. But uh, this is also you can actually use for some other purposes, you know, just uh, keep a one extra staging sitting there where you can come back and test new plugins, new code, whatever, whatever, right? If you know, we are as a developers, we always need to uh, do something, but uh, this is the best and careful way to do stuff without harming uh, the actual production data, right? All right, so let's uh, go with this. All right, so here we have two options. We can actually customize here. Uh, sometimes if you want to just do a database, then you can just uncheck this. Uh, but at this point, you know, we, we, you know, we updated the plugins and the themes, so we do need to push everything, files and folders. Sometimes you want to do a full a database backup, uh, you know, to back to production if you made some serious changes and uh, also, you can just go to custom and uh, uncheck things and stuff like that. But at this point, we want to keep it simple. We want to go with all the default push to live. All right, looks like we are done here. And let's go back. And of course, as everything up, up got updated, so now it's making us log back in. Let's go log in and refresh. Boom, look at that. No more updates necessary. It's perfectly up to date. This is production and everything looking fine and dandy. Refreshed and let's go check for things. All right. Things are looking good. Now that everything is uh, looking fine and dandy, we can go back, return to overview, and this time we are actually going to remove this, this staging here, and this time not just from Softaculous, we want to remove the whole thing because you know we don't need an unnecessarily uh, extra you know staging sitting there taking up space. Unless you actually need it, you can keep it, not a problem. But I don't, so it has to go. Okay. Boom! There you go. So now all we have is our production site. And everything safely up to date. WordPress version, plugins, everything up to date. We are good to go. And that was the point of the whole exercise. Thanks for watching.